It has been five years since the housing bubble burst, and many states are finally seeing the end of the Great Recession and a resurgence in the housing market. So, where does New Mexico rank in the recovery process? Well, real estate shark Barbara Corcoran has the answer for buyers and sellers. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Chad. Nice to be here. Nice to see you. Big fan of Shark Tank. Love seeing that show. Uh, well, Homes.com recently... I love hearing that. There were a few years we didn't think it would be renewed. Go oh, ahead. I just no. had to say thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, as I was saying, Homes.com, it recently came out with its local market index. How is our state, New Mexico, mm -hmm. faring? Well, you're the big winner, my friend. Uh, you rank among the top two in the nation. Chicago also being up there. Why have you done so well? Because Albuquerque prices didn't tumble down like the rest of the nation. Certainly, they slid a bit, but you didn't have a lot to recover. So right now, when you go on homes.com and look up Albuquerque, you get the A on the report card because you've not only made up for the lost time and recouped to where the market was, but you've exceeded that by almost 17%. So Albuquerque is hot. And you have great things to look forward to in the market, unless, of course, you're going to want to buy in two years. And those prices are going to be so high, you're going to say, what was I thinking? I should have, would have, could have. Right. Okay. Now, for the buyers out there, what questions do they need to ask before making a purchase? Well, one question buyers rarely ask, and I believe it is chock full of great information. They fail to ask the homeowner if they happen to be home or the homeowner's broker, which is almost always showing the unit. They fail to say, so where are you moving to with the nice smile on the face? Or, hi, uh, where's the homeowner planning to move to? Oh, they're going to California. Oh, really? Oh, they have grandchildren? There? Oh, yes. Oh, when are they moving? Did they find something yet? These are the kind of questions that lead you to the throat of the deal. That's a question you ask to find out how urgently the homeowner wants to sell. Because if you say to them, hey, how much do you really want to sell you? Are you desperate? You'll never get an answer. But by querying the next step in life, you get the truth and you know whether you could potentially go in with a low offer. And then the second thing is you want to find out, and this is easily found at homes.com, just check out how long it's been on the market. When you know a house has been on the market for eight months versus two months, you automatically know you should be putting in a lower offer because A, the house is overpriced if it hasn't sold, and B, that homeowner has about had it with showing that house. And they're always more negotiating, more negotiable at the tail end than they are when they're optimistic and stars in their eyes at the front side. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Well, so now how do potential homeowners determine whether or not they want to sell or if they should sit on that property a while longer? You know, if you have no reason to sell, but one day you're thinking of me, uh, maybe mo moving out of Albuquerque and going where? Where do people go from Albuquerque? And why would they move, quite honestly? People usually go to Albuquerque. But right. if you wanted to move, what would stop you from selling? Well, if you said, hey, I'm in no rush. I'm very happy. We'll move in five years. If you know your market is going up, why would you list your house now? You're going to get a lot more money for it if you wait it out. But most people don't live that way. Most people have life changes that that make them want to move. The kids are grown. They want to be closer to their grandchildren. They want a warmer climate. That's what gets P or they want a better school district or a bigger backyard. Those are the right reasons to move because those, those, those are the life quality things that make a difference in enjoying your life. And I believe that should be the only parameter or the qualifier as to whether it's a good time to move. Because you know it's a funny thing. Life is very fair. If you're going to move because uh, you're going to wait a while because you think prices are going up, uh, by the time you get to the next place, their prices are already up too. So you don't really win that game by thinking you could sharpshoot the real estate market. It's not like an investment. It's a home. Right. Okay. And Barbara, how can our audience members find out more information? Oh, so easy. Just go on homes.com. The three best things you should be using on that site is finding out who the best broker is for your particular price range. Because you know why? Only 10% of the brokers in the United States sell 80% of the property. Why would you want to work with anybody but a top broker? Number two, you should be comparing rent values and sale values. Very easily done. And also figuring out what the other houses sold for before you put in the bid. Easily done. All on your mobile app. <laughs> kind of easy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Barbara, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. My pleasure, Chad. You take care. Will Enjoy do. Albuquerque. Yeah, absolutely. Already doing it. All right. Well,